All right, so Pythagorean triples. So again, try to remind yourself, whoops. I like to remind myself that the legs are interchangeable, but the C is the most important. That's right there. That's the side opposite the right angle. So here we have 9 squared plus 40 squared equals C squared. Okay. So 9 squared is 81. 40 squared is 1,600. So that gives me 1600, whoops, 1681 equals C squared. I square root both sides. And square root of 61 is 41. So since it ends up being a um, whole number, then yes, it is 940, 41. Okay. So here, again, there's my C. If you want to just identify C, A and B is interchangeable, but that's the most important one. So that's going to be 4 squared plus 6 squared equals C squared. That's 16 plus 36 equals C squared. So 16 plus 36 is 52. And we square root both sides. We get 7.2 rounded. So the answer is no. Not a perfect uh, Pythagorean triple. Now, remember, here's why it's so important to do this. The most common mistake here is write 8 squared plus 17 squared equals x squared. Hands down, most common mistake. C is 17. So I'm going to do 8 squared plus x squared equals 17 squared. So 64 plus x squared. You can use a or b. It doesn't matter. Okay. Equals 289. Now this time we're not adding. We're going to subtract 64 and get 225. And then when we take the square root of that 225, we end up with 15. So the answer is yes, it is an 8, 15, 17. We always put them in just numerical order. So again here, there's my C, very important. So 9 squared plus x squared equals 24 squared. So 81, whoops, that's supposed to be a plus equals 24 squared, which is 576. We subtract that 81 and it gives 495. And then when I take the square root of both sides, the square root of 495 is going to be decimal and it's going to be 22.2 .2 rounded. So the answer is no, not a Pythagorean triple. Number 13, the fire escape forms a right triangle. Okay, here is hard to see, but this is my C right here, opposite the right angle. So x squared plus 8.9 squared equals 16.7 squared. So x squared plus 8.9 squared is 79.21. And then 16.7 squared is 278.8. 89. So we subtract the 79.21, then we get 199.68, lost a 9 there, and then when I square root both sides, I'm going to get 14.13, so, whoops, not x squared, that's done, 14.13 feet or 14.1. All right, 15. Tell whether there's a right triangle. That means, again, we're assuming, well, we're not assuming, this is the biggest side. That makes this the right angle. Okay, that makes this my C. 
All right? So let's just go through and label the C. That's the biggest number. Now, that one's kind of tricky. Which is the biggest number? Well, let's see what 3 times the square root of 5 is. That's 6.7. That's my C. Okay? So I'm just going to do 65 squared plus 72 squared equal, that's kind of a question mark, so I'll leave a box there, 97 squared. So 65 squared is 42.25 plus 72 squared is 51.84. And it's just habit to write that equal sign. And then 97 squared is 9409. So we're going to add the 4225 plus the 5184 and get 9409. So 9409 equals 9409. That is a true statement. So yes, it is a right triangle. Okay, so here I'm going to have 21.2 squared plus 11.4 squared equals 23 squared. This time I'm just going to type this into the calculator all in one fell swoop. So 21.2 squared plus 11.4 squared, and you can do this, is 579.4. I think you can see right away that this is not going to be, since it's a decimal, 23 squared is 529, so it is not equal, so no. And here we're going to have 2 squared plus 6 squared equals... <clears throat> now, remember, we want to be careful here. Since it is a rounded decimal, I'm going to write type in 3 radical 5 squared, like that, okay? So 2 squared is 4, 6 squared is 36, 36 plus 4 is 40. And I'm going to type in my calculator, parentheses, 3 radical 5, parentheses, squared and get 45 and that would be a no now how to do that with my calculator just to show you there's a little foresight in algebra 2 next year so what I did was I did parentheses 3 square root 5 you have to come out from the parentheses with the right arrow close the parentheses and then square it like so All right, verify the segment lengths form a triangle. And then is it acute, right, or obtuse? So again, my biggest number, biggest number, biggest number. 10 squared plus 11 squared something 14 squared. So I'm just going to type in my calculator in one fell swoop. 10 squared, which we know is 100, plus 11 squared, 121. That's 221. And then 14 squared is 196. So here we have C, sorry, I don't know why this did that. C is less than 221. 221 is greater. So when A squared plus B squared is greater, that makes it acute. When c squared is greater, it's obtuse. So here we're going to have 12 squared plus 16 squared. We don't know. 20 squared. So 12 squared plus 16 squared. And again, you need to type this all in one thing. Is 400. Well, 20 squared is 400. So that's equal. So that's a right triangle. And then 4.1, you can maybe guess what this is going to be. Squared plus 8.2 squared equals 12.2 squared. So 4.1 squared plus 8.2 squared is 84.05. You should be able to guess already 
because 12 squared is 144. 12.2 squared is 148.84, which means this is greater, which makes it obtuse. All right, find the area of the isosceles triangle. So there's the formula for area. We don't have the height, so we need to find the height first. So what do we have? We have a right triangle. There's my C. Now be careful. The base is 16, but that's for the whole thing. That makes this 8 and 8. Okay? So what we have is 8 squared plus H. That's supposed to be an H. Could be a B. doesn't matter. Squared equals 17 squared. So that's 64 plus H squared. The height, remember, plus, oh no, sorry, equals 289. Then we subtract that 64. Then we get 225. Maybe sounds familiar. Because that's 15. And that makes sense because it is less than the height. I'm sorry, less than the hypotenuse, which it should be. So now the whole triangle area is one half the base, which is the whole thing again, times the height. Well, if you think about it, half of 16 is 8, 15 times 8 is 120. So the area is 120 meters squared. Remember to put meters squared. All right? This one, we got 16 and 16. So 16 squared plus h squared equals 20 squared. So 16 squared is 256. We know this is 400. We already had that. So 400 minus 256 is 144. And maybe that looks familiar to you because that means the height is 12. So the area of the triangle is 1 half the base, the whole thing, not the 16, the 32 times the height. So half 32 is 16 times 12. Or you do half of 12 is 6 times 32. Does not matter. That's 192. So the area is 192 square feet, and that is it.